Hey guys, today I'll be showing you the easiest way to complete the technical task 3 on the Swisstronic testnet using GitHub Codespace. If you haven't joined the Swisstronic testnet, sign up right by using the link in the description and check out the video at the top of your screen to help you get started. You need to create and deploy an NFT contract using hard hat and mint at least one NFT token with the deployed contract. And you will need to provide the smart contract address for the deployed contract, the link to your public GitHub repository, and the transaction link where your NFT is minted. Once again, I'll be using Zon scripts for this guide. Shout out to Zon, he has made the tags very easy by creating a script and all you have to do is to run the code for his script and where user input is required you provide the necessary input and once you're done you push the files to your github repository so follow him for more technical task scripts the first thing to do is to set up a new github code space with a blank template to do that, visit github.com slash codespaces, you'll find the link in the description and choose this blank template by clicking on use this template and wait for your codespace to set up and your terminal to be active. Once your terminal is active, paste this code, you'll find the link to the code in the description. If you see this pop up, click allow. Once you've pasted the code, hit enter on your keyboard and wait for the code to run. When you see this prompt, hit enter on your keyboard and hit enter again. Now press Y on your keyboard and press Y again and wait for the code to complete. When it asks for your private key, provide a private key to the new Swisstronic wallet that you are using only for the technical tasks. Like I've always said, do not use a wallet with funds inside or the wallet you're using to connect to the Swisstronic dashboard. Create a fresh wallet that you use only for the technical tasks. If you don't know how to create a new Swisstronic wallet and get your private key, check out the link in the description. So paste your technical tax wallet private key. If you see this pop up, click X and hit enter. When it asks you to provide your NFT name, use any name you like and hit enter. It will ask you for your symbol, use any symbol you like and hit enter and wait for the contract to compile. If your NFT contract deployment is successful, you will see this prompt which will show you the contract address. So highlight the contract address, use Ctrl C to copy it. Here you will be asked to provide this contract address you just copied. So paste the contract address and hit enter on your keyboard. Don't forget to save this contract address in a safe place because you'll be needing it later. In this case, I'll be using Notepad. So I paste it here. So now the code is complete. Now some of the output text will be hidden because it's too long. So scroll up. Scroll till you find the transaction URL of the NFT you just minted. You can highlight the whole link and use Ctrl C to copy it. Or you can hold the Ctrl key on your keyboard and hover over the link with your mouse to click on the link. Once you click on the link, you'll see the option to open the link or copy. So click copy. Now you've copied the transaction URL. So save this transaction URL because you'll be needing it later. Now we are done with the NFT minting and deployment and as you can see here, your private key has been removed from the hard hat configuration file. So the next thing to do is to push these files to your GitHub repository. To do that, go back to your GitHub code space. If you see nothing here, just refresh the page and now you find the code space that you use for this tax. In this case, this is the code space I used. If you have multiple code spaces, it may be confusing, so you can rename the code space by clicking on the three dots at the extreme right and clicking on rename and give it a name. In this case, I'll say tax three. This step isn't compulsory, it's just in case you have multiple code spaces so you don't get confused and push the wrong code space to your GitHub repository. So the next thing to do is to click the three dots at the extreme right and you will see the option to push to a new repository. So click publish to a new repository. So click on public because we want to make a public repository and give it a name. In this case, I'll be using tax three. Now click create repository. Once the repository has been created, click see repository. And now you can see your new repository containing the files for your tax three. The next thing to do is to copy the link to this repository by clicking on code and clicking on this copy icon. And now we can move to our Swistronic dashboard. 
So on your Swistronic dashboard, click on the tax, scroll down till you find the area for submission, paste the contract address of the NFT you deployed and click submit. Scroll down, paste the link to the GitHub repository you just created and click submit. Scroll down and paste the transaction link where your NFT is minted and click submit. So that's it. We've completed the tax 3 for the Swistronic testnet. Very soon, I'll be uploading the guide for the tax 4. If you haven't completed your tax 1 and 2, check out my channel or visit the links in the description for the guides. If this video has helped you, like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issues, ask for help in my Telegram group. The link to the group is in the description. Join my Telegram channel for most Restronic testnet updates, crypto airdrops, tips and tutorials. Don't forget this is the season of Telegram airdrops, so check out the bonus section of this video description and sign up on some of the hottest Telegram airdrops today. So keep participating in the Swistronic testnet tags, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.